this is a tutorial on how to add basic speech bubbles in GIMP and it's gonna be real quick real easy and you should all do this don't use paint okay open up GIMP okay close this down and first thing we have to do oh you'll see this layers and path tab maybe pop up if you don't that's okay I'll show you how to open it so we're gonna close all tabs for now we're gonna open up our picture and I already have a folder saved I have two grays one folders let's go down to screenshots down to right there okay open take a second and I like to make it full screen okay now the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna bring up your layers tab you go to file dialogues layers okay pretty easy and something that we want to do right now so we don't have to do it later is click this little arrow add tab and paths I'll show you why later now while we're in this layers tab if you're if you don't use Photoshop or GIMP if this is the first time it might seem weird if you use just paint or PowerPoint before the layers feature but it's the best way to edit edit um, comics and edit pictures it's the best way to do anything with pictures okay so first we click new layer we're gonna type in bubble one keep everything like the same transparency alright now minimize okay now first thing we have to do go over here to text 69 is a little big and usually you want to click here and choose a nice font just for the tutorial I'm just gonna show you basic so type in here just click on the picture and if you want to move your text over it you can click this move layers and selections and then just click on it and I want to move it right there okay and it seems weird like it's blurred out by the background but don't worry about that okay now if you go back to your layers tab you'll notice that it clicked over to your text layer no you don't want that you want your bubble layer so you click that minimize this and now you want to go up to elliptical regions so click that don't want to feather edges okay some people like to I don't okay now you click nice circle around your text and it highlights it like so now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to create and edit paths alternatively you can hit B make sure it's in design mode okay now you click where you want your speech tail to start because you can't just have a bubble you have to have someone saying it so click this you click down to here to where the mouth is coming out of or wherever you want and then you click back in and you see it forms a nice speech bubble tail right there if you don't like it you can take this dot and move it around make it fatter skinnier whatever okay now go back to your layers and paths tab and click on the paths okay now you right click this and add to selection okay now you notice the dotted line went away right there that is what's supposed to happen now if you look back at the gimp for a second you'll see that this is your background and foreground colors okay you can change it by double clicking and then bam you'll get a whole wide variety of selections and such okay but black is fine for now and white is fine because that's a standard speech bubble thing so you go to file I mean right click the layer edit and fill with BG color or fill with the white color okay you see the little white thing now if you look real quick you could be done there okay it you know what's going on makes sense but I think we can do a little bit better than that okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this and go to select and go to two path okay at the very bottom oh sorry there okay now we're going to right click this again and stroke path and anywhere from five to eight is okay so we're gonna look at this again and if you hit F11 you can see this full mode and 
Now you can see it has a nice little speech bubble. Okay, with a nice little black outline. You can make it alternatively thicker, darker. Now this, this is nice like this, but I think we can do one better. I think we add a little drop shadow. Okay, that looks really nice. So there's two ways you can do this. And I will show you the lazy way. Lazy way. Go to make a new one and go bub one shadow. Okay. After this, I'll show you the hard way. So you have you're now you're in the bub one shadow. Go to elliptical regions again. Okay. You want to go to feather edges. Okay. Now draw one that's just about the same size, same length. That's the most important. Just same length. Okay. Nice thing like this. Now you're gonna right click it and edit and fill with the foreground color or black. Okay, now you're like, oh, where did my text go? Don't worry about that. It's all good. So now we're gonna go to filters, and you notice it's a little bit blurred around the edges already, but we're just gonna blur it a little bit more. Go to five, that seems good. But you might like it all the way up to 15, you might like it all the way down to three. Just depends on the person. Now it's a little bit more blurred. Now we're going to hide this by clicking down. Okay, now you say, oh, where did it go? Just go back to the move tool. Okay. And now you can use your arrow keys to move it down. So let me move it down a little bit. And you'll see a shadow starting to appear right there. Okay. Now you can move it off to the sides if you want. But I think right there looks pretty nice. Okay. Now right here you have a nice speech bubble. Nice shadow. Everything looks good about it. I'll show you the harder way to do it if that is what you so prefer. So we're going to undo all this stuff. Alright. Now, instead of doing that, instead of making a new layer, we're just going to duplicate this layer. Okay. Now we're going to go to right-click it, edit, and fill with foreground color. Now you see it's solid black, so we're going to blur it a little bit. And we're going to touch it up a bit more because it's less blurred than before. No, you can see there's no really difference at this level. So now we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to go to the move key. We're going to put it below that layer. Now use the arrows to bring it down. And this is if you want a fuller bubble effect. As you can see, it also highlights the tail. If that's what you like, then that's fine with me. So now to save this, you go to File, Save As. And I have a little folder to put all my GIMPs in. And we're just going to save this as uh, CS. And first, I like to save it as a GIMP image, XCF, with all the layers, so that you can come back and edit it if you feel like it. Okay, you save that. That goes pretty quickly. And now you go to File, Save As. And same thing, scroll down to JPEG, click Save. And you notice this thing comes up. Just click on Export. And then go to 100. Hit OK. Saving it, and you are now done. And this is the end of this tutorial. And I'll see you guys around the place. Hey, that's against the law. You're coming with me. Uh, uh, uh. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Ja, 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 just like the bad guy from Lethal Weapon 2. I've got diplomatic immunity, so hey, mate, you can't sue. I can write graffiti, even jaywalk in the street. I can riot loop, not give a hoot, and touch your sister's teeth. Can't touch me. You can't touch me. What in God's name is he doing? You can't touch me. I believe that's the worm. Stop. Peter time. I'm a big shot. There's no doubt. Light a fire and pee it out. Don't like it? Kiss my rub.